Who would dare to venture into the deadly reaches of the Great Swamp? Few who had entered its mist had emerged to tell of their experiences. Yet, if one knew the Great Swamp, what better hiding place could he find? So it is that a pack of ruthless escaped convicts set up their headquarters in the Great Swamp, leaving them free to plunder the surrounding areas. They call themselves the Swamp Rats. And only one man can meet the dual challenge of this evil gang and the treacherous swamp. He is the Phantom. Hello and welcome back to this damnful idealistic crusade. This video is a review of book 11 of the Avon Phantom novels, The Swamp Rats, in its Hermes Press reprint. Uh, this was ghostwritten by Frank S. Sean, who actually is Ron Goulart, who wrote most of the 15 Avon Phantom novels. Some were written by original series creator and primary writer Lee Falk, but most were written by Goulart, and all of these books expanded upon original strip stories from the Phantom newspaper strip written by Lee Falk. Some books did combine different stories and kind of expanded on, on them to really make them more fleshed out novels, but most are, are basically taking a newspaper strip single story arc and just expanding the action a little bit to then fit in the confines of one of the Avon mass market paperbacks, which I have one of the original printings here. This is book 13. So Hermes has basically taken this and reprinted it in the more premium size. Uh, the Swamp Rats is a really interesting, fun story. I, I think it's a little bit better than the book that preceded it, uh, Goggle Eyed Pirates, because it's got it, it's got a little bit more meat on the bones in terms of story. The basic setup is you have a prison train that actually crashes in the jungle, and you have a whole bunch of escaped convicts and murderers and psychopaths and different di different types of thieves run off into the deadly swamps, and one of them actually had some knowledge of the area and becomes the sort of de facto leader of this band who actually is able to navigate through the treacherous swamp that no one else can get through without dying in the bog or getting eaten by crocodiles or all the all the fun things you get in the pulp novel and they basically set up a, a camp and then use this as their base to then strike at will and just plunder and steal and murder and kill and torture and just wreak havoc on the landscape and no one at first knows where they come from and then when they actually figure out they're in the swamp no one can actually get there and then of course you have to throw into the mix some hostages and some people trying to go and find their lost loved ones so that leads to multiple different parties going into this treacherous swamp and you have all of this criminal band who also has hostages, and you even have members of the Jungle Patrol trying to find the Swamp Rats, which is what they have named themselves. So, of course, in the middle of all this, the Phantom intervenes and takes a hand. So you have not just one, but several different parties involved. And if all this was not enough, we also have other inhabitants of the jungle, and there is an old old legend about a, a famous lost treasure that was hidden somewhere in the swamp uh, in, in, in this section of the jungle. So there's a whole lot of different elements going on that make this book a really fun read. It's still a very quick read, as are all the Avon books, but this is one of the ones that just really doubles down on the pulp adventure flavor and hopefully any of the elements i just described about this plot at least have whetted your appetite if any of that sounded fun you're going to have a blast with the swamp rats this is a wonderful pulp adventure and again based entirely on an original phantom newspaper strip story the fun factor of the avon books is that it's taking uh, stories that were told in the in the newspaper strips, which had to be done, you know, around the confines of being printed in in a newspaper. Even ongoing, there's only so much you can do with you know so many panels per day. And in these, even though the books aren't particularly long, it, it's at least allowing for the actual story to breathe a bit more, and you get a little bit more detail, a little bit more character nuance, and and a bit more description for the action. So it does feel like the stories are at least a bit fleshed out. Uh, you can also tell a difference in, in who wrote which one. You can tell, you know, the Lee Falk ones from the Ron Goulart ones. You can tell the Ron Goulart ones from the uh, from the couple written by other people. But, you know, Lee Falk wrote a, a chunk of these, but Goulart wrote most of them. So if you've read one or two Amon Phantom novels, you kind of know what to expect uh, from the others. And if you read one and you enjoy it, you will want to read all, all 15. So I do recommend picking up all the reprints uh, if, if you're 
at all interested because tracking down original copies is very difficult. They were only printed once and they're real collector's items now. So you'll probably spend a lot more trying to get original printings than if you just go ahead and purchase all the Hermes reprints. So to talk a little bit about the actual printing quality, this is in the same nice oversized, more premium feel, uh, replicating the original cover artwork, which is really striking. I love the bold yellow background. And of course, you got to have a nice crocodile to threaten everybody, but it's a wonderful, bold cover that definitely draws you in. We have the same white spine that matches all the other books in this print run. And then the rear replicates the original design with the blurb and a repeat of the beautiful cover art. Like all later books in the series, we get the beautiful essay. With the Phantom, everything is possible except boredom. This is one of the best pieces I've ever read on the importance of adventure storytelling and how adventure stories are art, darn it. And then all the books in the series carry the original Phantom prologue. So for those who came in late, you actually get the opening summary setting up the entire character and the history of the Phantom, which opens pretty much every Phantom story. So as, as always, the Avon books are a great entry point because there are standalone adventures, but you pick up any of these and you can jump right in and you, you know exactly everything about who the character is and what the Phantom means and also the character's history from the prologue. So uh, these are wonderful gateways into the character if you've never read a Phantom story before. So overall, well, those are my thoughts on book 11 of the Avon Phantom novels, The Swamp Rats, written by Ron Goulart under pseudonym, uh, based on an original Phantom newspaper strip story by creator Lee Falk. Uh, this is just a wonderfully fun story. It's wonderfully pulpy. It's got loads of action. It's got a lot of interesting development, and it's just got a fun, interesting plot set up, and it moves at such a nice pace, as all these books do. You're easily going to want to just keep reading it, and you can literally sit down and read this in one sitting, and you really enjoy it, and it's going to be a, a nice book to return to, and honestly, I'm going to, I see myself rereading the Avon Phantom novels continually, because all 15 are worth your time and immense fun. This is just one of the ones where the story is is a bit more developed, or there's there's more things going on, so uh, it, the book runs a little longer, and it just feels like it's it's using the, the confines of being expanded to a book a, a, a bit more in terms of you've just got more uh, material to go off. So as always, I hope my babblings about books and the adventures of the ghost who walks has been at least somewhat fun and informative. I'll leave a link in the description to Hermes website so you can check out some of these reprints and uh, maybe purchase a couple or you know purchase all of them. They sometimes have a nice bundle of these uh, because uh, I don't know how much longer these are going to stay in print, but uh, it's always better to buy directly from a publisher and, and support them wherever possible. Uh, as always, please do keep supporting independent publishers and independent bookstores wherever possible. Uh, keep reading, keep reading print books, and happy phantoming. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching.